What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. The Rise and Grind YouTube channel. Down here at Beset Transport. We got for you guys uh, another video here. Equipment video. Sort of like a Meet the Fleet Part 3. Um, got a new trailer that's coming to our yard. We want to show you guys. Plus a couple more trucks. And uh, we brought you along for a couple more rides. So, yeah, guys, we... Uh, we just want to say thanks again for everybody for coming back for another video and watching us. We uh, we got another video coming up in the next uh, few days here in regards to the FLD and um, the status. And yes, we are back working on it. So guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. We've got a lot of views. The channel's going actually way better than I thought it would. So it's quite encouraging. Uh, we got a lot of hours watched. A lot of views, but a lot, a lot more views than subscribers. So people are watching, but they're not subscribing. So guys, please do not forget to click that like button, share, and uh, we really, really appreciate it. So uh, we're gonna get right back into it, guys. Here's another video. Woo -wee. Do I love to see the big corporations spend that money? So one of these rolls into my yard, which is the first that we've seen of this style. This is a brand new one. Got the square corners. Brand new food service wagon, folks. One of the nicest meat wagons I've ever seen. What's the brand of this? Forgons Leclerc Incorporated. 2023. It was just built. Model 30. Looks like it's a 30 foot trailer. Nice swivel blot hands. It's even got the swivel auxiliary cable. Auxiliary box for your lights, interior lights. Looks like it's a lead trailer also. It's got the lock on it. Interior lights on and off. Oh, so they got a separate port. Look at that, eh? They got the port for the lift gate and the port for the lights. Very cool. This is a nice trailer. Thank you, Cisco. For spending that money. Next, maybe spend it on us. Not entirely sure what that's for. Anybody knows what that's for there? Leave uh, leave something in the comments. One thing I did notice here though, guys, is this frame is awesome. Look at this. It's a completely different style of frame. Aluminum by the looks of her. No, that's actually steel. The landing gear is a different style. Way more narrow. These handles are a completely different style. Much easier to open. Ooh, look at the floor. So much different. Huh. Got one more load in the trailer to go out. Brand new bulkhead. Probably gonna try and get some video of uh, when the guy comes to take this load too, we'll see. Amazing looking wrap here, guys. The air tank's mounted on the side instead of underneath. It's different. Got all your controls. Second battery, first battery. Your second controls. As the usual, Maxim product. Maxim lift gate. So it's got the self dump, dual valves. It's got the ramp. This is a lead trailer, though, guys. As you see, this axle. Slides back, trailer stays, axle slides forward. And you can hook up another trailer. Let's get a little more look on the inside here. She's cold. That wind is lovely. Look 
at this shiny old thing. This is a really different style, guys. This thing is almost too new to, too nice to use. One load left is, this floor is different. I've never seen this type of floor in the food service delivery trailers. So typically this, see how this is ribbed, right? So typically you see either angles straight like this, rib floor, or you see checker plate, which is higher. So a lot of the product is on pallets, right? So the airflow flows through it. So typically you want your floor elevated if you put stuff on the floor, because then the airflow has comes from the top of the reefer and circulates, okay? It circulates and circulates, and that's how you're gonna keep your airflow moving. Your reefer's gonna work the best. Your product's gonna stay at the temperature you need it to stay at. And uh, it's not gonna run as, as much as it may if you're not doing things properly. Hey, the freezer part. Yeah, this is a really different style of trailer here, guys. I'm actually loving it. It's very exciting. Very exciting. They got the bumpers at the front there. If all's done correctly. Nice little gap. Keep in mind, these trailers come full every day. Every day. They're full to the gills. Very cool. Very cool. Guys, these are the steps where it slides slides back. You can walk in between the two trailers, hook up your airlines. Once you slide out the bogies, the airlines are uh, underneath there for the second set, which is what I'm looking for here. Let's see where the bogey pins are. I don't see any. I don't see any. Huh, another different style trailer. Let's see. Nice thermal king, guys. Not the best. Here's your uh, trailer information here. It's landing here. Self suspension. It's a simple turn valve. Oh, this is a different style. Typically, there's bogey pins in here that lock in, but you can tell your trailer's locked. Maybe it's not ready yet. That's why the that's where the pin is on the uh, where the lock is on the glide hand. But typically, this second glide hand is for to slide the bogies out. That's why there's another one there. It's actually not ready to use yet, though. There you have it, though. Nice, beautiful, brand new 2023 food service wagon. All right. Out here in what we call down south cold. A couple mud flaps missing here. A couple miscellaneous mud flaps missing. Yeah, there should be some needle nose in here. No? We got one, got one all fixed up here. Slot that baby on. We're gonna go get the new parts for this gal. And then, we got a light day today here. We're only running uh, six trucks, I think, today. We're gonna take this old gal here, B715, new gal, and we're gonna go and hook up to our 
48 foot reefer trailer and we have to get some we got to get some uh east troughs for the shop because what's happening in our shop we built the shop on ground where it's uh i guess it, it, we raised it up like two feet and now the parts of the concrete because the water's seeping down the side of the shop parts of the concrete are uh sinking so we're gonna get some east troughs to troll the water probably recycle the water for our chickens Put a little heater in there we'll have some water at the back so yeah we're gonna bring you guys along hooking up showing you all the good stuff there she be probably gonna go right into the tire So now where we're from. Look at this beautiful new trailer here. I'm still amazed with this. If they send us this trailer every day, we'll be the happiest campers at Cisco's ever had. We're real good at dealing with the Cisco problems. That's one of our specialties. We've been doing it so long, but just getting bad equipment is not really something we like to do, folks. Deal with, sorry, not, not something we like to deal with. This here is just a beauty. Let's look at that thing. This makes you proud to go down the road. Hauling this old girl down the road makes you proud. I wanna show you something here, guys. We just got this new trailer in, not new to us. We showed you um, previous. Actually, I'm gonna drop that video in right after this or before this, one of the two. Like I said, we're still learning here. So this is new to us. We have a run where we need a, a newer 53. The one we have, like I said uh, in the previous videos, the forklifts were ripping it up. So we went and got this. This is a 2006, I believe. 2006 Stoughton. Yep. 2006 Stoughton. Nice and straight down the sides. Got a couple things like that, but that's absolutely nothing. We don't really put too many kilometers on. It's more or less like a hot shot deal. But yeah, she's straight. It's the girl we're gonna take out today. Love this trailer, guys. So we got her in. We noticed there's a couple, couple wheel seals leaking here. As you can see, okay, so we're gonna get that in. We're gonna put the newer style hubs on here. A couple wheel seals leaking here. One thing I wanted to point out also, guys, no airbags. These are uh, spring suspension here. Big spring suspension. So no airbags, one less expense. doors fully doors so we don't have to worry about the roll up door or people hitting it we got the trifles so let's do this Nice and close, drop his air. Don't need to be on the equipment. The air drops for a reason.
Tug test performed. Trailer is connected. Jaws are locked around the kingpin. Airbags are raising up. As you can see, the feet are raising up. Always drop your landing gear. When you're dropping a trailer, always drop it like this with a gap. So here, when you do put your bags up, it's nice and easy for you to uh, crank it up. Crank up the landing gear. Around where we're from, we got windmills. I wonder if it's an American thing. If there's any Americans out there that have driven trucks with low uh, spikes, trailer brakes, trailer handbrakes, whatever you all call them, let us know. Because this truck here does not have one. It's got an engine brake. It doesn't have the trailer spike. So guys, roll it out with this our beautiful 1993 Great Dane, the Whisper Edition, at the Thermal King. I've had that one for about a while now, probably about two, three years. Bought it for three grand, put new landing gear on it. Four new cross members, but she's ours. Our guys still use these books. Sometimes we use, uh, we're almost all digital. We have, there's a few different softwares, but sometimes it just gets too chaotic, guys. We don't go without outside the 160 kilometer radius, so we just run these DVIRs. One copy for the company, one copy for the driver. Keep on them 15 days. We just have the Husky here. 
Look at this. Look at this. Take a minute to just absorb this. You know you're at a husky. And the maple leaf is flying. The spots look sweet right now. Picking up parts from the premiere. Got Justin over there. This is actually where we bought this truck from these guys. So get a better look at this trailer here, folks. It's got the old SB3 SR Whisper Edition, Thermal King Reefer. It still runs mint. Got the big tank. bit of damage on it but inside she's your standard trailer reefer freezer reefer and a cooler whatever you prefer we rent them we got them Forty-eight feet of pure hours. That is all our iron right there, folks. What a beautiful unit. This is considered a uh, transport city down here where we're at. Trucks everywhere. We got Mac. We got Volvo. We got Freight Shaker, Western Star. We got Hino, and there is your famous 401, the Highway 401, world's most dangerous highway. Sorry, maybe not most dangerous highway, North America's most dangerous highway. I know there's crazier roads out there. All right, let's head to get them East Drops. All right, guys. We're loaded up, 40 foot of East Shops. Set them long. Not bad, only 340 bucks. All the hangers, all the end caps. So you got the end caps too? Yeah, that's good. Hangers. Hangers come with the screws. Okay. Let's put the low bar on the floor across here. Not, not too much pressure so I don't bend it. Or even go this way, bro. Okay. No? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, I should say. What was the follow -up? Yeah, that was actually the door holder up there. <laughs> for the trailer. That's the proper name for it? All right, guys. Here we have... Uh, Another truck I don't believe we've introduced yet. Just brought her out of the uh, shop for an oil spray for the winter. This is the last unit to go. This here's our new to, newest to us truck. It's a 2016 Freightliner M2. Boom. Okay, just freshly oil sprayed. Take a look at that, guys. Refresh.
Nothing but the best here. Crown oil spray. They give her a nice wash. So we'll bring her in the shop quick. Driver says that the radio doesn't work. Priorities, the big things, radio. You know, there's some sort of a solenoid switch too that the fan is kicking on. It sounds like the fan is trying to turn on, but it's not turning on. <clears throat> and there's actual fan buttons. So when you turn the fan button on the dash, the sound's consistent. So what we're wondering is if anybody out there has seen that in an M2, or why it's trying to kick on, not kick on, if it's a sensor, what sensor it could be. Let us know, drop a comment in the comments. This truck's a beauty, guys. It's only got, well, I'm not sure how many kilometers it has. 180,000. But it's got, she's clean. Perfect for in-city deliveries. It's geared super low. So from zero to 60 is quick. Zero to 60 is very quick. Quicker than your average transport. Do you, I think companies that use these trucks are like Coca-Cola or the beer store. This was a beer store truck, was it not? Yeah. Beer store truck in Calgary, this one was, I think. In city, small town truck. <clears throat> Me and this truck, we got some stuff in common. See, they give you a nice wash. The interior is beautiful. They're telling me, looking at the radio here. My thing is, it only gets a couple stations, right? I bet you it's just not really plugged in at the back or something silly like that. But yeah, they do a good job. Right on. They do a good job here. Normally you do that on someone swears. <laughs> the lines are all right in here. Let's check out these batteries actually while we got her here. Make sure there's no surprises. Yeah, these, these batteries are brand new. And you know what? We got it on camera now to prove it. It's only a three battery system. Yeah. Looks like, yeah, see they got the ACM cable there. Fuse. These ones are brand new, Alliance truck parts. So guys, the last couple of days, we've been having some issues, as you have seen, with batteries. So we have another truck today, we're gonna bring it out to this, and um, we're gonna install these four new road choices. <coughs> I know road choice, road choice. They're not cheap, guys. 130 bucks a piece. These ones are the brand new ones, and these babies are the ones that we pulled out of before. Which I'm going to show you guys these batteries. If anyone else has seen them, I'm charging them up right now. But I was told these batteries here, they're, so they're gel batteries, AGM. And um, these are $500 American a piece. So we haven't really established what we're going to do with them yet. 1150 crank amps. But if anybody can think of what they could use them for, if they need them, we'll let them go for a good price. Yeah, batteries are a big thing. We're just starting to get our cold water down here where the, the crank amps get weak on the batteries and the trailer lights are ran off the off the batteries, so everything's on the batteries, and because it's cold, the cranking amps are down probably two, three hundred lower than what they're supposed to be. The oil stick, so we're gonna start plugging them in this week, guys. And oh, these ones here are 925 crank amps, so yeah, they are lower. Like I said, the majority of our trucks have four battery system, but uh. Few, few of the newer trucks that come in, they both have had three battery systems, so. Technically, we don't mess around with it. We just get four, so we don't run into the problems we've been running into the last couple days, but here we are, folks. Let's pop the hood on this thing, or what? So this truck here, this truck here has a little Cummins. It's got a ISL Cummins. See a little 
red pepperette there. Hey, look how good this looks under here, guys. Woo -wee. This makes me excited. Oh, that's not good. some posts here before that are I'll have to fix that in a minute yeah she's lubed up she's greased up okay this is a good truck again this truck is automatic this truck's got the allison transmission it's a beautiful truck here for what we do in city deliveries, if anybody sees them, Cummins ISL. I think this one's got about 375 horsepower. This is unit B17, guys. Windshield fluid is low, so we're going to go ahead. Just have a look, check all the fluids. We haven't had this truck in the shop yet since we've had it. We're gonna go over a couple things the driver asked us to look over. We'll get back to you. Probably with the B710. guys just out helping a driver here this uh automatic pallet jock broke i just wanted to show you we're in the uh something capital of canada here it's hard to tell this is justice for those of you that are not from around here the greenhouses are wild seven o'clock in the morning here folks We're gonna get rolling, help this driver here. Get him in his way. We figured I'd get a little footage of this. The errors are on our third problem of the day already, so let's get this going. All right, guys. We didn't end up getting uh, the power walker fixed, so toughen up and help the driver for a little bit. Situated. This guy here broke. Charger won't charge the unit. So, I know <laughs> that's happened before. Now this light out, three different stops left. We'll help him with this big one, and he should be get him sorted through his load, and he should be all good. The food service industry here, guys. We got a center divide trailer. So to the left is uh, freezer. To the right is dry and cooler this one makes a lift gate style delivery so you take the lift gate bring the pallet to the back hand cart it from there I'll show you a little bit about this style here all right guys that's going to sum up another video here today at the rise and grind youtube channel um thanks again for coming out and watching another video we are averaging about 10 subscribers a week which in my opinion is fantastic um, never in a million years. I know it's nothing really special, but to, to us it is, you know, it's, it's really special. It takes time to do all this. It's like a, you know, kind of a second job, 10th job, whatever you want to, whatever, whatever you want to label it as. Um, you know, we're, uh, <clears throat> we're working hard at it. We're trying to provide content for you guys. We haven't put any videos out in the past probably 11 days, real videos, not shorts, but so we want to just, uh, we're, we've been filming lots guys. We, uh, we got a few videos on deck here. We're going to drop this one and then one after this one we've got life of a food service delivery driver um we filmed from the beginning of the day till the end of the day so that one will be dropping within the next couple days here 
And uh, yeah, like I said, <clears throat> we've been working hard on these, so please don't forget to tell your friends. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We've got some real exciting things coming up. Our first giveaway is coming up, not the next video, but the video after. Um, I'm not gonna let you guys know what it is yet, quite yet, but I will tell you at the end of the next video. Um, yeah, so it's, it's getting real exciting here, guys. We're, uh, we're setting some goals for the new year. We got a lot of crazy content coming for the new year. We're looking at making a very, very, very big purchase that uh, we've been waiting on for six years. So it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna bring all you guys along with us. Um, we've got a lot of uh, viewers from, from different places that I've said it along in this video, and we're so happy with that. We're, we're happy to be able to, uh, you know, put the content out there and let people, allow people to see what we do, how we do it. Um, a lot of the times throughout this video, guys, I had asked people to drop comments. Please drop comments if you have any knowledge about anything that I've asked in the, in the videos, any questions that we may have thought. I know there's a few of them in there. Feel free to leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys all in the next one.